welcome back to Be Wild by April Lee. I am your host, April. I have a diamond painting that I'm unboxing today. I'm going to be having several of these, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, this particular kit, if you see here, it says that they have it has square diamonds. So that's one indication that you can see. Um, here is the picture of it. It's really, really pretty. This is going to be a smaller one. It is 18 and a half by 12, or 18.9 inches by 12.6 inches, and it's called the Rainbow Flower Petals. I just thought this was a beautiful, beautiful painting, and I really just wanted to try it. I thought it'd make a really pretty uh, decoration on my wall. Um, so I just got to find a way to learn how to frame these. So when you pull this out, and then here is the kit. So let me put the box over here. So the first thing that you always get with your kit is going to be a nice pair of tweezers. Thankfully, like I said in my last review, those other ones were plastic. These are metal and they have the nice pointy edge if you're not really careful it's really actually sharp um, so these are metal and they have a little cap to place over the top so it keeps it closed so that's nice and then you always get a dish for your dime for your drills and this one has the one with the spout on it and then they gave you a bunch of little bags I don't know why they didn't just put them all in one little bag, but but they gave you a bunch of little bags to save some of your excess drills in. Okay. And then you have your pen. And I don't see a difference between this one for the round ones or the one for the square, so it looks like they're the same. And these always come with this nice little plastic bag. It's like, it's not a, it's not, it's just a really nice thick plastic bag. So, and then Diamond Art Club always gives you little hearts for their glue. So you have plenty of glue. And then this comes with a little grippy. Now in the past, now this one fits actually really nice and tight. In the past, mine have fit really, really loose. And I watched somebody the other night who said that she takes a piece of double-sided tape and puts it right here and then slides this down over top of it, um, which is an excellent idea. This one is not going to need it because it's not going to slide it. Um, so that's really nice. And then I have those, you know, that other kit that I have that I can put on the end of here and put a placer, like the larger placer if I wanted to. Okay, and then here is... The, a sticker that they put that you can put on like a log book or it says to place it in your log book or any place you would like um, use it to organize your stashed kits and it's basically the you know the name of the the painting that you have and then this is something new that I haven't gotten with the other ones that I had before so here's another one that you can this is a whole sticker and then the color list with all the DMC numbers, now this is just like the DMC floss numbers, the exact same numbers, so they coordinate with those colors. And then you have the code that's on the painting and then the number of each of those. So that's, and then you can take these and cut these individually and place them on your little um, stash, you know, the little boxes like I have and Instead of having to write mine on there, I would just do this, and then I'd have the symbol and everything on there. So that that's really cool. So let me open this up, and let's show you. Let me put this stuff back in here first, because I don't want to lose any of this stuff. Whoops. As you can tell, I'm always dropsy. Oh, my goodness horrible tonight. Alright, let's stick these over here. 
And then let me open this up. Let's see how this opens up here. I would love to become an affiliate for Diamond Art Club. I have so many of their paintings already, it's ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to open this up this way because this is how they tell you to do it so that it lays out and you have your drills. So you're supposed to leave this layout like this, just flatten this for a few seconds. And this one's not very big at all, so this one should be nice to work on. So while that's doing that, let me open up the drills and we will see what kind of colors we have. They look very, very colorful. I can't wait to do these. Sorry for the crinkling. All right. These are beautiful. Okay. So we have... 796, 44, 444, 740, which is an orange, 666, which is a red, 741, which is like a, hmm, I don't know, I would say like a peachy orange, 820 is like a, a sapphire blue, 307 is another yellow. 742, 133, this is an AB. ABs have, I don't know if you can see, they have that extra iridescent sparkle. See that? That's it with, it's what they call an AB. There is, oh, it doesn't tell me how many ABs there are. I know someone showed on here. I guess I will find out. 718 is like a pinkish purple. And you have a bluish 995. 321, like a brick red. 3607, like a pinkish purple or purplish pink, I should say. 917, 208, 3371. 600. These are like a pinky red, so to speak. And 601 and 823. And then let's see here. So far, we've only found one AB. I see another AB here. We have 498. We have a 954. This one's a really pretty green. I like that. 3843. This one's like a brownish brick, really brick red. 814. Here's another AB. 138. Thirty-six zero eight. Nine thirteen. Nine thirty-nine. 905. This is a really dark, like Everest, Everest, like forest green. 890. This is another AB 135. It's like a yellow, yellowish green kind of, or greenish yellow, I should say. 602 is a pinky color, really pretty pink. 310 is like a black. This is another AB 134 like a grass green, 3801, 699, 907, 209, 915, and 892. This is why they always say stock up on these little containers, because if you have a painting that has this many colors, you're going to need to separate them, and it's going to take a lot of those little things. So. Not one of these that I found was repeated. Look at those colors. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait. So let me turn this painting over. And look at those colors. Look how pretty that is. I have it upside down. 
look how pretty that is. So it has the colors all up the side. There's 39 colors in this schematics. This is really, really pretty. And like I said, this is my first one that I have that I would be doing with square drills. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. We'll see how this works out. So there's always this paper on this side where you just peel it back, whichever side you wanna start on. I usually start it on this side because I'm left-handed so I can do this and then I can just keep peeling it back. So that's how I work on mine. Everybody works on theirs different. Some people likes to work up from the top down. Some people work from the bottom up, from the left side to the right. I work from the right side to the left. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, one of my diamond paintings that I'm gonna be doing in the future. And hopefully when I'm done with it, I'll be able to post a picture of it for you and share it. I hope you all watch this video. If you enjoy this kind of content, please give me a comment, thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so I can start bringing more content like this for you. Um, if you have anything that you have any questions about, feel free to email me, message me, you know, leave me a comment, whatever. Um, I'm always available. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight, and I hope you all have a wonderful night.